we stayed with a Peruvian family. They didn't speak any English, and so we had you know a couple months where communication was difficult, but they were very patient and very kind. You go into the experience knowing that there's going to be a significant amount of pressure on you to do certain things, but there's also a lot of things that you're not going to be able to anticipate or predict. So, like, you know, I anticipated having to spend a lot of time on language and my studies and getting to know people in the church and memorizing names and, you know, traveling a lot, but then you know, we were basically had to go and participate in every everything that, that was available for us to participate in because of an opportunity to learn the language better, opportunity to get to know people better. So I went to every single birthday party. I absolutely loved spending time with uh, Pastor Latimer and Pastor Daniel and traveling was super fun for me. Um, there's a bit of stress in traveling but the bus rides were just gorgeous, uh, seeing Peruvian landscape but honestly it was talking to people on the bus. There's you know people with entirely different lives from you that you never get to meet in your life that you know have a very I can be using the word perspective, but it's just, I mean, you're in a different country, you're gonna get a lot of that. Um, this was my church, Taiwantinsuyo, in Lima, 2017. Yeah, I love that church, it was a really good experience. I felt like the pastor, Latimer, did a really good job of incorporating David and I into the church and giving us responsibilities, you know. I even, in the Amazon jungle, I spent two and a half months in the Amazon jungle, they're illiterate and many of them and so I was teaching Peruvians how to read the Bible and that was a unique experience. I don't encourage everyone I meet to go to you know another country it's a lot of pressure so unless you you know you're ready I'd say you gotta be pretty tough.